Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Bryce with B-Ice Media and welcome back to my channel. If we have not had the chance to meet each other, I would just like to say welcome. If you like home theater, music, video games, and more, hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and let's get to know, know each other a little bit more. So I'm sure you guys are all here about the SVS PC 4000. And before we dig into the demonstration or even my personal thoughts on it, let's dig into the specs. So this MSRP is $2,200 for this subwoofer, has a 13 and a half inch down firing driver, 1200 watts RMS with 4,000 plus watts peak. And then it has three different modes as far as how, dig, how far you want the subwoofer to dig. So you can plug one port and that is just going to be the extended mode. And that goes down to 15 Hertz. If you want to plug two, that goes down to, well, actually you can't do two, I'm sorry. <laughs> I always do one, so I never pay attention to the two. But you can't plug just two, you have to go all the way to the sealed mode. If you're going any further than that, and it comes with these low foam plugs, that goes down to 16 Hertz if you want the sealed mode. And then if you just want all ports open, that has the most power as far as its loudness, but it only goes down to 17 Hertz. So just different things to think about with the sub. It measures 47 inches tall. So it is a little bit taller than most uh, standard tower speakers. And then in circumference, it is 16.6 .6 by 16.6. .6, so it basically looks like a little water heater. And this sub does weigh quite a bit. It is 92.4 pounds and it only comes in a piano gloss bezel. So the only way you actually see that is on the top. It has these removable grills right here and it goes over the top of the different ports. And that's where these will be fitting up underneath and you won't be able to see them. Also with this sub to note is there's no turn knobs for adjustment. So if you like the old school, just knobs in the back, if you're trying to adjust some different things with the sub, you cannot do that on the back, which I, I, I absolutely love that. I think it makes it a lot easier. And instead you have to control this with either the remote that does come with it. I don't have it with me. It's somewhere in my closet somewhere because I never use it. But they also have it where you can use the SVS app, which is mainly what I use. And then on the front of the sub, actually, there is a little digital screen and it has a couple of buttons and it lets you cycle through the different options and you can control things to there as well. And then last but not least, it also has XLR inputs. So if you're wanting to use the XLR inputs instead of the RCA, there you go. You do have to keep moving up in the chain as far as the subwoofers to get that experience. And then of course there is the RCA inputs if you just want to use that basic connection. That's what I have to use because unfortunately my receiver does not have the XLR. I'm not that privileged guy, so I'm missing out. I, one of these days it might happen, but we'll see. So before we get into that demonstration, I wanna give you my thoughts on this a little bit. And before I had these subwoofers, I actually had the PC 2000s, not the 2000 Pros, but just the regular 2000s. And as you can see in my setup now, I have these subwoofers closer to the TV, like they're inside instead of outside, like the tower speakers are. And so I had the 2000s on the outside, so they were close to the walls. And it really gave, I wouldn't say it was bloated, but I, I definitely could tell it gave it more room gain because it was in those corners, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know. That's how it does work. If you put them in the corners, you will get more room gain. And so as far as mid base, it was like really heavy, like it would check everything in the room. And I was like, wow, this is actually pretty good for the 2000s because I used to have a PB16 Ultra a long time ago. And I've been missing that base, and that's why I wanted to step up to the PC 4000s. And so with these, unfortunately, I couldn't get them into the corners because for some reason, the power cord is shorter. I don't know why. I spoke to SVS about it, and I can get some third-party ones. And I'm like, eh, you know, I don't know if I really want to put them in the corner again. And so I moved them inside. <clears throat> and honestly, the deepness is way, way better. It's got way more power. But I was honestly a little disappointed with the mid bass because I felt like it wasn't shaking everything in the room like the PC 2000s were. But at the same time, they're also not in the corners. These are actually a lot more accurate as far as how it should sound, which is another thing. And three, I haven't got a mic to really calibrate these. So I feel like that's also another part of it is because calibrating any kind of sub is going to get you the best performance possible and so that's on my next up to do list as far as these subs 
get the get a calibration mic and just see how it sounds from there because I think honestly that's the only thing that's holding it back as far as how I like it to sound. <clears throat> I also got these two because I'm gonna be moving into a way bigger space than just this room. This room is pretty small and so having these subwoofers in here is a like majorly overkill. And so eventually this will get into a bigger space and I spoke with different different representatives of different audio sites and they said, yeah, these are gonna be a lot better in a bigger space than the PC2000s would. And so I said, that's just really a no brainer for me. And I went ahead and grabbed two of them. So with without further ado, guys, we're going to a short demonstration. I'm not going to do too long because I know computer speakers can't handle it. But if you do have some good mic or do have some good headphones, make sure you plug those in, and so that way you can take a listen. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, a series of 